All right, everyone, welcome to part two of the Windows 10 security update video, I guess we can call it. Nevertheless, you guys commented stating that the database was 82 days old. That was not on purpose, as I stated earlier in my update video. So after updating the database and re-scanning that same pack of malware again, um, tried to go ahead and remove all the stuff, and it has been doing this now for like the past two days. <laughs> I'm not kidding, you guys. Um, I tried even restarting the computer, restarting the virtual machine, I should say, and doing this again. Same results. However, I was able to get the real-time scanner to remove the malware. So, so far, Windows Defender doesn't seem any better than it was before. Um, that's all I can say. However, detection rate-wise, it did do a, a, a decent job here. So let's take a look at um, what we have left. And as you can see, compared to before, we only have 73 files remaining. So not 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 good, but um, considering there was 387 files, or 389, sorry, um, that's that's pretty good actually. So let's grab our calculator here, and we're gonna do some math. So 389 minus the 73, and then we're gonna divide that by the 389, gives a detection rate of 81%. And that puts it in the good category, between 78 and 84%. So not exactly the best, but you know what? It's good. And especially considering it comes with Windows, it, it, you know, it's not exactly the worst security in the world. It, I'm going to stick with my same conclusion, though. If you're going to use your computer for pretty much known good sites and use it maybe as just a media center for watching DVDs or, or watching some movies from good sources. Um, yeah, you don't really need any other antivirus or anti-malware program besides Windows Defender just because you're not going to be seeing those threats as prevalent as you would on a system that you're researching things on and going to all these different unknown websites. So I guess that's the bottom line there, is if you go to trusted sites, Windows Defender is fine. If not, you might want to look elsewhere because it doesn't really offer anything else besides the traditional antivirus methods of blacklisting. And that's pretty much all it does. It doesn't have any behavior detections that we saw at all. Um, just seem to use signatures, and it's purely signature-based. That's all I can see. Now, they do have supposed behavioral analysis within the cloud, but... I didn't see that at all. So, all right, I think that wraps it up for this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I know a lot of you commented and, and always liked the Techie versus User. We're hoping to get more Techie versus User reviews out there. But first, wanted to make sure we got this one scored away, finished this one up, and got the results that you guys have been looking for in this aspect. So, uh, there are, I know, other security features in Windows that. You know, like such as Windows Hello, uh, things like that, where they have the biometrics. Right now, I, I'm not capable of testing those, so maybe in the future, though, I will go ahead and see what we can do about uh, starting to test some of the biometric security features of Windows. And they also do have um, improvements to secure boot, things like that, uh, integrating those in the operating system better in a sense of blocking rootkits and more serious threats. So. Uh, like I said, you know, this is this is more of a Windows Defender based test, but um, hope you guys enjoyed it. So, and then definitely the results have been much improved versus last time when uh, we were in the not acceptable category, I think, if I remember correctly. So, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys in the next review. Comment, subscribe, let your friends know, you know, yada, 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 that kind of stuff. So, appreciate it. Talk to you later.